Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to read a measuring cup easily. This will be a full tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is a measuring cup, and this is from my measuring cup drawer at my house. We have a few different measuring cups. We have larger ones and smaller ones, but this was the one that I think uh, exhibited how to use it the best because um, of its various markings on it, okay? So it's a little bit foggy right now because it's pretty cold outside, and I literally just went in the measuring cup um, purposely so you can see the markings better because if it's completely clear um, you know you're not gonna be able to see the markings properly so I kind of <sighs> fogged it up okay so essentially first and foremost you want to place your measuring cup on a flat surface if it's on an angled surface or if you're holding it it's gonna be the, the liquid in there is gonna be swishing around and that's essentially gonna ruin your measurement right it's gonna be inaccurate um, and you want to basically use a measuring cup for the most part for liquids only if you are measuring uh, like a f flour let's say or sugar or something like that that's a solid that's a broken up solid solid or chocolate chips right generally you would use a measuring spoon but you can use a measuring cup for those as well it's just it's a little bit easier to pour things in that's essentially what it is if you can pour it in here then go for it but more for the most part you know you're going to want to use uh this for liquids now how do you read the measuring cup well <clears throat> it depends on the measuring cup but once it's on a flat surface and you have the liquid or whatever it is inside of here <sighs> you're going to look at the markings on the side of it so you can see right here there's two sets of markings there's ones on these side this side and ones on this side and there are two there, there are two on each side so there are two sides of markings and two on each side so there are four markings to choose from four sets of markings right over here you can see that this says let's fog it all the way up to the top just like that come on give this video a thumbs up who does stuff like this other than me nobody right so give it a thumbs up this says eight ounces so these are ounces two ounces four ounces six ounces eight ounces it's as simple as that okay on the other side this says one cup and these are fractions of a cup we have a quarter cup a third half two thirds three quarters and then all the way up to one cup so you pour your liquid in there whatever it is in there and you're going to look at you know if you want to get to half a cup you're going to keep pouring it until it gets to that marking right there so look at the marking of what you want first place the measuring cup on a flat surface and then pour the thing in there until you get to that marking okay now for the other side over here okay take a look right here we have milliliters okay so we have um, 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters, 150, 200, 250. And between them, there are actually four lines. So basically, it shows you within a 10 milliliter uh, marking where you want to be. So if you need like 160 milliliters, you go to the 150 and then you go one marking above and you'd be at 160 milliliters. Very simple. And lastly, on this side over here, this actually says DL, which I, I think, keep it on the DL, stands for down low. You want to keep it on the down low, that's the side you use. I'm just joking. Um, I think that stands for des deciliters, if I remember correctly. And what that means is like um, how many uh, how many tenths of a liter. So essentially, the the one deciliter, if if I it could be it might not be deciliters, but I'm pretty sure it is deciliters. One deciliter is one tenth of a liter, which is a hundred milliliters. So the one deciliter lines up with the hundred milliliters over there. Now, really, this and this both sides are, are going to be the same. One deciliter is a hundred milliliters, so it's going to be the same thing, right? But the the thing is, it just makes it easier if you're quickly trying to bake something or cook something. It makes it easier just to follow along with this side over here. Um, if you need a certain number of deciliters liters but that's it that is truly it that is how to read a measuring cup easily a full tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions if you like this video tutorial please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching